How's it going everybody? Welcome back once again. We're right in the middle of the 5.1 full auto high kappa build. I actually need this black beaver tail off of my armor works for the full auto build. So what we're going to do really quick is we're going to switch out the beaver tails. I have the original right here. And we're going to pop back in there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this real quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pop the slide off. What you should always do gets rid of less parts. We're not working on anything in here, so process of elimination. Okay, so our hammer's pulled back already. We're going to pull our safeties up. Now, if you pull them up just a slightly bit higher, they will come up. It will be a normal lock, and they're going to come up just a slightly bit higher. Now, there is a spring and a plunger right here. That little pin right there. You want to be very careful when you pull these apart now. Okay. Hold this one with your thumb. Wiggle this one. Make sure they're pulled up all the way. If they're not pulled up all the way, then they won't come out. Okay. Now, to pull this one out, point this at the table. Just like this. Hold your thumb on the bottom side and just slowly wiggle it out and boom, the spring and the plunger fall out on the table instead of shooting out across the room. That was just a gun falling over. Okay, so there we go. We've got the safeties out and the spring and the plunger. Now all we need to do is remove the beaver tail very carefully. Okay, we're going to push the new one in the same way, same way you saw me do that, just like that, roll it back in, okay, I shouldn't have any problems here, but be careful because of your sear spring, alright, now while you have this off, Go ahead and take a look in there. Get familiar with sort of how the sear spring sits in there, how it needs to be. Actually, I think this one hmm, it might be underneath. Might have to fix that one. So, here's your disconnector spring here, far right, sear spring in the middle and then your beaver tail spring on the left. That's what gives you that spring tension when you push on the beaver tail. Okay, so just roll your beaver tail in just like that. And then you want to do just the opposite or the reverse. So we're going to first take our little spring for our safety plunger, put that in. And then we're going to put our safety plunger in. Just wiggle them in, make sure he's in. Alright, then you're going to take your left side, be the left side, push it in to the beaver tail hole, get that lined up. Now, you're going to have to take something and push that little pin all the way in. Okay, now this little screwdriver like this works perfectly. Just slide it in between the safety and the frame and get that little pin. You'll feel it. Now, try to be careful. Pull that safety in like that. Now, as soon as you push that all the way in, put pressure on this safety. As soon as you push that all the way in, that safety is going to drop in. Just make sure you keep your hand on it and hold it in there until we get the other side on, okay? I'm going to do it real quick for you. See, it just dropped right in. You can even push it down now if you want. Just kind of hold it down a sec. Get your other safety. 
come around the other side. Now you do have to lift that safety up on the other side. Just make sure you hold it in. Lift it up. Get your other safety lined up. Once you get it lined up, it should push right in. Same thing, it should come right out. Just make sure you have your safety up all the way. It should be up above. See how mine's up above the disconnector? Up above the rail, up above the disconnector. Once you get them in, push them down. That'll keep it locked. You should be good to go. That's it. Switching on to beaver tail. Take our slide. Put it back on. And, okay, gun fires. See if it fires without the beaver tail. Nope. Okay, push the beaver tail. Fires, good. Now, safety on, no fire, beaver tail, no fire, okay, good to go guys, pretty simple, so if you want to change out your beaver tail real quick for, you know, something different color, different textures, so this one's got the grip on it, this one's just smooth. That's all you need to do. So thanks again for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe. And I'll have plenty more of these uh, tutorial videos, informational builds. Ask some questions if you want, you know, don't be shy. I know I'm still starting out and I don't have that many subscribers yet, but definitely if you guys want to know something, I am somewhat of an expert. I've got 20 plus years teching on paintball and airsoft, so. And plus, I watch videos too. I watch informational videos, and then I go in and I build the guns myself, part by part, piece by piece. So you guys know, I know what I'm doing. I take the guns to the field, I use them, maintain them, and then we upgrade them, all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned guys, next video, we're going to finish this high cap of full auto build. Parts are all ready to go right there, so... Thanks again, guys. See you on the next one.